friends under lesson number 7 metals and non metals today we will see uh, the next part of our lesson and last lecture is said we had seen the properties of metal and which are the properties of metal that is the physical at normal temperature all the metals are solid in state at normal temperature all the metals are in solid state and exception for this is the mercury and gallium and all the metals have lustres okay they are shining hardness metals are hard then metals are ductile means we can take out the thread from it wire from it then metals are malleable means we can make a sheet from this sheet from the metals and conduction of heat good they are good conductors of heat metals are good conductors of heat and that's why we are using the metals utensils for cooking food next metals are good conductors of electricity and for that in wire aluminum and copper is used and metals have high density and for this also exception is there and that is the density of sodium potassium lithium are exception okay and all other all other metals are there their density is higher but this sodium potassium and lithium these are the exception having lower density than water and the density of lithium is equal to 5.53 g per cubic centi cubic centimeter is the density of lithium next melting and boiling points so generally all metals have the higher melting and boiling points but there are also some exceptions and which, which are those exception that is mercury gallium sodium and the potassium hg ga and na k these are the exception and sonority sonority means they produce a sound on striking and these are the properties of the metals after that we will see the next uh, that is the non metals properties okay generally the non metals properties are what opposite to the metals properties so we will see one by one the properties of non metals so first of all non metals which are the examples of non metals carbon sulfur phosphorus are the few non metals generally non metals are brittle and non lustrous brittle means they can we can break it very easily how chalk we can apply pressure at the middle then what happens chalk turns chalk breaks and it forms a two pieces from the chalk in that way means these are the brittle for example otherwise we will take example of the uh, saucer or cup when it falls it breaks easily so this is property is called as a which property this property is called as a brittle now they are non non lustrous non lustrous means they are not shining for example coal okay this carbon you know the carbon means coal its color is black you know sulfur sulfur powder is there it is yellow in color phosphorus that is we are match stick match 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 sticks are there they are made up of this phosphorus and its color is reddish in color so these are the non metals they are not shining and they are brittle brittle's property i told you it breaks very easily now some physical properties of non metals so which are the physical properties of non metal so just we seen that the metals at normal temperature they are in solid state at ordinary temperature non metals oc also occur in solid state also and also liquid and gas state solid state which are the solids here it is given solids that is carbon sulfur and phosphorus these are at solid state at normal temperature okay at normal temperature means this is the normal temperature that we are living and its temperature at this temperature this carbon means coal that is charcoal that is present when you have the when we burn the wood then charcoal is formed and that charcoal is in which state that is it is in solid state next it is sulfur sulfur powder is there and phosphorus powder is there so they are as these three are there they are at normal temperature they are at solid state next uh, liquid bromine is the liquid bromine is a non metal which is at which state liquid state at normal temperature and with this some gases like h2 that is hydrogen gas nitrogen gas and oxygen gas these gases are there they are at normal temperature they are at which state that is gaseous state so concerned with the physical state of matter the metals are non metals are 
occur in solid liquid and gaseous any of the state of matter next it is the non metals first of all non metals does not have luster so non metals do not have luster except diamond you know that diamond diamond is a pure carbon diamond is a pure carbon carbon means coal you know that coal color is coal's color is black but diamond is a one substance okay it is diamond is a one carbon and it is at which state uh, solid state at the normal temperature it is in solid state and it shines okay and iodine crystals iodine crystals also shine for non metals which are those non metals do not have luster but there is a exception and which are those exception these are the diamond and the iodine crystals some not non metals are colorless okay why some have different colors what are the color of carbon carbon's color is you know that it is black in color carbon is black in color okay if you see you just stick uh, just uh, uh, burn anything paper otherwise whatever what it forms the coal it or black substance is formed that is nothing but the coal sulfur is yellow in color and bromine is brown in color okay so they have the different colors the and what happens they are not shining for sh not sh uh, they are not shining but they have different colors and uh, as per the properties of that substances now the next property of the non metal is the brittleness which property is this that is brittleness brittle means what if i will if you just hold the saucer and by mistake when it falls on the ground it forms a pieces of the saucer okay and this is because of the this is this is made up of the non metal and that non metal because of that prop it non metals have the property that is brittleness and due to this what happens they breaks take coal and hammer it take coal and hammer it what do you see we will see when we hammer it the coal is there it forms its a powder it forms its a powder it turns into the small pieces and it forms a powder so solid non metals are brittle what they told you solid non metals means carbon sulfur otherwise which that uh, phosphorus these solid non metals are there they are brittle some non metals are soft for example sodium you know that sodium i told you before only sodium is very soft it is like a butter we can cut it with the knife also so this much soft it is there and it is a non metal diamond means the brittleness is the property of non metal but diamond is a non metal and diamond diamond is non metal but it is the hardest substance it is the hardest substance natural substance and and that's why what happens we are using this diamond to cut the glass otherwise in drilling machine otherwise in that uh, bore machine inside diamonds they are using for crushing the what stones which comes on the way okay now some non metals are soft but diamond is a exception for it and which is the hardest natural substance okay diamond is the non metal and it is the hardest natural substance okay the next next property is the malleability and the ductility malleability and the ductility okay so what is ductility just i we have we know that we can take out the threads from the thread otherwise wire from the metals okay copper wire silver wire gold wire iron wires are we can take out but from non metal we cannot take out the ducts because they are brittle otherwise they are in which state liquid otherwise gaseous state so we cannot take out wire from it and we cannot make sheet from it because they are brittle because they are brittle and that's why we cannot make the make the sheet from this so ductility and malleability is the property non metals neither show ductility and they are not malleable this is about the non metals next uh, conduction of heat and electricity conduction of heat and electricity as we know that metals are good conductors of heat and they are good conductors of electricity also next property of non metal is conduction of heat and electricity means the non metals are not good conductors of heat and electricity non metals are not a good conductors of heat and electricity for example when this wood is there wood is a non metal when wood is burning wood is burning at that time when you touch to the nearby part of the burning part here if you touch at this place hmm, then 
you cannot feel heat at this place at this red color spot i showed no at this play, place if you touch it you cannot feel any kind of heat the reason behind it is that the wood is a non metal and non metals are bad conductors of heat and electricity okay instead of it if you are taking the iron rod here and if you give heat to it then what happens after some time what happens the part which is near to your hand it becomes slowly slowly get heated okay because metals are good conductors of heat like heat and electricity and non metals are bad conductors of heat and electricity so here non metals are bad conductors of heat and electricity too except whom graphite graphite is an allotrope of carbon and it is a good conductor of electricity yesterday i told you how it is there though so non metals are there for example graphite if we put this pencil here hmm, this is suppose and sharp it from both the side if you do this experiment at home no problem this is the pencil your pencil is there and if you connect the circuit here and small bulb also if you put it here and here battery then you will notice that the bulb glows why because the graphite the lead of a uh, pencil is made up of a non metal graphite and graphite is a exception it is the good con conductor of heat and electricity electricity now next it is the density non metals have the low density for example if you throw the coal in the water coal floats on the surface wood as you know that wood is also floats on the surface of water so generally non metals have low densities and metals have high densities next it is the melting and the boiling point so regarding to the melting and boiling points non metals have low melting point and boiling points they have low melting and low boiling points exception solid non metal like carbon okay and boron melt at high temperature other all non metals are there they have low melting and low boiling points understood now the next uh, so these are the properties of the non metals so if you study comparatively then you will notice that if we speak about metals and non metals non metals you will understand that what metals are what they have uh, hard they are hard first property second first property is the they are hard first property is they are hard sec first they are brittle okay they are present in mostly solid state they are present in the solid liquid and gas all these three states inside these are present then metals have luster they do not have luster but for there there is a exception is there and which is that exception that is gold is the exception for this okay then fourth property is the what they are good conductors of heat and electricity they are good conductors of heat and electricity and they are bad conductors of heat and electricity afterwards fifth property is is the they are brittle uh, they are uh, ductile and the malleable they are ductile they show the properties of the ductility and malleability malleability okay and they are not ductile and they are not malleable non metals again they are density metals density is high and non metals density is low in this way we can give if you do the comparative study of metals and non metals you will understand their properties are exactly opposite to each other understood all of you so these are the this is the difference between the metals and non metals you can add few more points in that okay and which are those point i told you that is the density density metals have high density and they have low density 
okay so in this way these properties are there metals and non metals so all of you study today the no, yesterday you have studied the properties of metals and today you just study the properties of non metals and write the difference between the metals and non metal and that is the homework for you and one more property ha huh, i told you to forgot it is that uh, no to i told you all the boiling point and melting point that i forgot so metals have high melting and boiling points but the non metals have low melting point and low boiling points the next it is the which is metalloid metalloid means what some elements are there they shows the properties of both metals and non metals and these substances are called as the metalloids they shows the properties of metals and non metals both and that's why they are called as a metalloid some elements some elements such as arsenic as arsenic these are its molecular formula you have to learn it silicon that is s n germanium that is g e antimony s b have properties which are intermediate between metals and non metals means both some properties the metalloids are there they show some properties of metals and some properties of non metals such elements are called as a metalloids okay such elements are called as a metalloids okay so these are the elements it shows the properties of metals and non metals both and that's why these substances are called as a metalloids okay after that we will see the next part of our lesson that is the what chemical properties of metals chemical properties of metal so what are the chemical properties of metal inside it the first property is their electronic configuration so what is electronic configuration as i told you if sodium is the metal as you know that sodium is a metal so its atomic number is 11 so these 11 uh, metals are there so electronic configuration how it is there two then first orbit inside two electrons will go second orbit inside eight will go and last orbit inside one electron will go so here first of all we will study the properties of who metals and what are those property that is first electronic configuration so what they told you about the electronic configuration of metal that we will see at first the electronic configuration is the basis of chemical behavior of element majority of the metals have up to three electrons in their outermost shell means in the outermost shell inside how many electrons are there three uh, less three one two three this much just now i will see in the sodium say example how many electrons are there in outermost orbit one now magnesium okay what is it sodium atomic number 1 so here 11 is the atomic number electronic configuration inside first orbit will how many electrons it will goes from 11 12 uh, 2 so as you know that sodium is at if sodium's atomic number is 11 then protons are also 11 and electrons are also 11 and neutrons are also 11 okay out of this protons and neutrons are present in the uh, nucleus of the Uh, nucleus of the uh, nucleus of sodium but electrons are there these electrons are revolving around the what nucleus okay and these electrons how they are and they are they have the electrons have the orbit so how it is their orbitation so first it is this is the nucleus this is the nucleus here proton and neutrons are present so first uh, yes uh, first uh, orbit is there that is inside it how many electrons will enter that is two electrons will enter in the first orbit so this is the first then second orbit inside how many electrons will go here if you see eight electrons so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and this is eight eight electrons will enter inside the second orbit now the third orbit that is the valence orbit and in this orbit how many electrons are there that is one only so generally all metals generally all metals have one two or three electrons in its outermost orbit okay now if you see the magnesium example what is its atomic number magnesium is also the metal we seen that experiment that i burn and i shown you its atomic number is 12 as per this rule first orbit will two enter two electrons will enter second orbit eight electron will enter enter and out of 12 2 will enter in the third orbit same with the aluminium 13 13 is atomic number and how electronics will enter first orbit to second orbit 
8 and last orbit 3 if you see if you see here these are the metals sodium magnesium and aluminium and these are the metals and if you see the outermost orbit how many electrons are there that is 1 2 or 3 electrons and present in the outermost orbit of the metals so this is the property of the chemical property of metal that is what is the property majority of metals have up to 3 electrons in the outermost shell that is the property first property we have studied the next properties we will study in our next lecture ok so all of you write the understand the difference between the metals and non metals note down it in your notebook and then next part of the lesson we will see tomorrow ok thank you